What really got Combat Master to this level? No, it's not only the Battle Royal update delay. I feel I was the only one that saw this coming and its cross-platform update. While a lot of mobile game companies run away from the idea of cross-platform because of the large amount of resource it requires, Alpha Bravo announced that they will be coming on Steam. I knew this wasn't the best idea, but a lot of people saw it as expanding the player base, the fact that they are struggling to develop the mobile version. Why make a new version that runs on a more complex operating system? I don't know about game development, but I am very sure the mobile build of the game can't work on a PC. For example, if Alpha builds a new update, they are going to spend another time to make the PC update too, unless they have a huge development team working on both versions of the game at same time, which is obviously not the case. Since the game is cross-platform, they can't release one version before the other. They created more issues for themselves. PC game hacks are very complex too. Master doesn't even have an anti-cheat on mobile. Going to the PC space that have hacks more advanced wasn't a good idea. I started noticing hackers since the first week this game version was released. Mostly flying players and level 100 guys. This was also a huge loss for Alpha because the operator skins and weapons they unlocked for free is one of the major source of revenue to them. Even if Combat Master makes an anti-cheat it won't be good enough to tackle PC hackers. Ricochet anti-cheat for Activision does not even keep all hackers out of games like Warzone. They will need like moderators or something to check players actions to ban them manually which costs more. Then an anti-cheat. It's possible to turn off cross-platform, but the players online have dropped massively forcing you to keep cross-platform on. It is possible the Battle Royal update is done for mobile, and they are just spending more time to work on the Battle Royal update for PC. It's obvious why most mobile games stay away from the idea of cross-platform, because it requires tons of resources to develop. Another game suffering from this cross-platform issue is Farlight 84. Hackers on PC are uncontrollable. I hope Alpha Bravo find a way around this and bring all players back because this game is a masterpiece cross-platform was a huge mistake for combat master tell me what you think in the comment section